The French touch in the English yeah. language. Yeah, it's a bit of uh, like this, but it's it's really tasty. It's yeah. uh, so lovely. American women love it. They think the uh, French accent is just like the sexiest yeah, accent. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what does American men think about it? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Of the of the French of the French, yeah. Oh, oh, it's very sexy. Yeah. yeah. I have the same uh, thing with uh, the same thing with German girls talking. Dutch. Really? It's also there is this. It's a bit similar, German and, and Dutch. But it's a but bit perverse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's uh, it has a really nice flavor. It's lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Anyway. Anyway. On to you get aroused, but but you want to be helpful at the same Always time. Always aroused. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so uh, back in 2017, 2018 or so, you guys kind of called it quits. Uh, obviously, late 2023, end of hiatus. Uh, what changed? Um, we, did, we, 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 we did. The world changed. The, and the world. We had the spark of an idea and we put it in our heads. Of uh, No, no, just to be serious, when you do something uh, as a band, well, actually that's what we think. You should have an idea musically or artistically. And when you run out of that, you have to stop. So that's what we did. And when we had it, well, at least that's what we think. We had it. We really want to put it out again, this artistic idea or anything music, musically. So that's what we are aiming to do. Uh, besides that, it's really nice to be back on, <laughs> with the old tracks that we play on the European Festival. So that's really awesome. Look yeah. at where we are today. Yeah, when we uh, when we split up back then, uh, we were not all of us were emotionally available and uh, just you know just to be in a band. And the, log the logistics of, you know, just recording, going on the road, it was just so difficult. So we said, you know, w why should we push ourselves if it's just not really working? Let's just give it a rest for a while. It was a long rest, but now you're back. And so you're known for your very unique approach in kind of controlling every aspect of production. Um, We're all about control. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what got that started? I mean, you guys, it seems every aspect of the artwork, the production, I mean, everything is, is all you guys. Uh, and that's a bit unique. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, by that time in 2003, that was really unique. I think for, for, for the, the countries, like the Benelux countries, Belgium, uh, Netherlands, Luxembourg, we were sort of the first band maybe to go all the way do it yourself with these uh, doing the production, building a studio of our own actually, uh, doing the artwork and the management. Uh, oh, like because we could, you know, we had this. Yeah. These guys had the skills. Yeah, I just had part of the skills, but, but you know, uh, the just rest had the, the rest. So uh, that was actually by the time that was kind of unique, and we put forward that that kind of spirit. Basically, the skills to record ourselves, you know, the band 20 years ago, just to to design your own artwork and just to do like management and stuff, study journalism. So you know, he can talk. I can't talk. <laughs> I know. My English is still a bit slacking though. It is, it is way better. But, you know... It's all about nuances. It's all... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Do you guys have any plans for your unreleased album, Genetic? Well, I mean, we're working on new music. Yeah. We still don't know what to call it. Okay. Let's let let let's just say that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And people think like we did, we we did like work for the past seven years on this album, but we didn't. We just were in contact. Like, how are you doing? How's the kids? And that was it. Not any not nothing musically like going on. So we started all over. Uh, one year ago, or let well half a year ago. So we started writing again. And. Uh, well, I can say, maybe I can say this, the 
old material that we're actually supposed to work on for that follow-up album. Whoop. Not good enough. It's just not relevant for us anymore. No. Yeah. We actually, yeah, like we changed, the, the world changed. I mean, with the world changed, you know, it's a bit oh, exaggerating for the fact that bands came alongside. Like you see Polyphia nowadays. Uh, at, back in the days, um, Periphery, Carnival, Tesseract came alongside and doing sort of similar things in a way, but sometimes cooler than we did. And we were ending up like, hey, we're having this stuff like this riff, but they have it as well and already worked out. We should aim for a better idea than, than this maybe. And creating a new identity for the band. Yeah, I guess. Huh? Okay, so what's that new identity? What you it's this. Oh, no. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's a wonderful question. Yeah, we're actually still, tra <laughs> we're still traveling and um, the thing is that we, we really aim for something different. That's what we actually always like to do, every album. I don't know if we always succeeded, I guess so, because people, in a way, they're fans for every album. Uh, but we consider it as this, this, yeah, like this journey that we go, and we want to come up with different stuff than we did in the past. So we did a whole range of things from prog, eclectic, gent, trash, black, whatever. No, not really so much black, right? Maybe we have to put that in and um, to just come up with a different sound that really m maybe matches more to the persons we are. Exactly, because last thing we want to do is actually make the same album again. Also, as a fan, this this is not what I would expect from a band I like. Okay, all right. No, that was a difficult answer, right? Yeah, no, that was great. Not really. A no, but that, no, that's still good. That I answered it. So, what's it like playing together after six years? Uh, any challenges? It was, well, for me, that was fun. That was fun. Okay, I have to tell you this. So, we have this first rehearsal after seven years. And actually, I'm the one to, well, maybe together with Joe, that I teach a lot, a lot of drums to students. So, I should have been like really fit. So, I like physically so I tell the rest of the guys hey come on man when we have this first rehearsal everybody knows you know lyrics riff we have to be there right like so we are there in the first rehearsal who's fucking up it's me hello I'm stuck with this double bass and I'm like oh man I suck I'm 43 <laughs> so I have to keep so what I'm doing is getting more into the mood like I do some workout and some training and I'm, you know I'm there again so the that was uh, just, you know, like, uh, well, I have to get used to that. Yeah. But, but the old click was still there. And after a few rehearsals, you know, there it was again. So it wasn't so complicated after all. I mean, it's still the same dudes, and it sounds the same, and it feels the same, and, that, and that's good. Well, speaking about that energy, I, I was able to catch your guys' show uh, here a little bit ago. Incredibly animated. I mean, it was like even your... He's not, you don't see it too often, even the keyboard guy is just going off like crazy. Yeah. He'll do that, yeah. yeah. He's, he's the youngest guy. Yeah, okay, maybe that's why. Yeah. Has it always been this way? And is it is it like a band agreement to go up there and just demolish your necks? No, we uh, are always been like that. Yeah, I mean... Definitely. Yeah. Well, Dylan George Capeland taught us that. Yeah. To go nuts. Or Max Cavalera, maybe. Yeah, back but in the this days. is kind of an un, un, unwritten agreement that, you know, you cannot just go out there and just stand and, and you have to rock on it. And it's, it stands out even from the other bands that are here. Yeah, but we, yeah. we actually really believe in that. When, when I Entertainment, do, that's it. When I do band coaching to my students on the School of Arts, they always stand still in the rehearsal room and, and I tell them, hey, what do you think, like the guys from maybe Dillinger Escape Man or, or Rage Against Machine, do you think they stand still in their rehearsal? No, they're rocking out even in the rehearsal. Well, especially there, because there it starts with the energy. And that's what we did actually always, even when I was with Bart. The other guitar player, we know each other since we are 14 years old, listening to Arise from Sepultura, Rage Against Machine. He was already doing like, uh, you know, like doing that, like being very physical or, and yeah, you call it entertaining. Yeah. And Joe is just like that, I guess, you know, we're... But it's also about, you know, connecting with your uh, inner uh, teenager, you know, the one you made a promise to, like, you know, 30 years ago, right. and you make a connection with that guy. And it's important to have the same feeling from, you know, from back then. So uh, and you have to work for it also. Like you know, you have to, you have to you want to be like 
fit for the show. Absolutely. Not just a bit, but you have to train like weeks before just to be overall fit, like mentally and physically to to be there, to be to give an acte is that acte de présence. Yeah. Is that is that correct That's word? Good. Good. Yeah, we, we use the same term in in Dutch. So uh, I could pop it out now. <laughs> but yeah, but it's, <laughs> it's good. <laughs> but it's good to be there and actually I feel better now than being uh, like two years ago when I was not playing so much. Yeah. Just, you know, all this workout, it helps. Because it's having fun. And I'll tell you one more thing. For Although we make kind of proggy and, you know, music which is kind of eclectic and, you know, it's not for everybody. But I think the basic rock and roll standards apply to our show. You look the audience in the eye, you know, you try to entertain them, you know, you, you stare at them. You know, so I think it applies also to like a prog band. And you clap with them. I, yeah, you yeah. did a lot of clapping to them. So much. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, it was fantastic, you guys. Congratulations, that was awesome. Thank you.